Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're talking about uh, apps for MacBook. I'm using my MacBook a lot, so I think it's very important to make the time as smooth and easy for me as possible to help me ensure that I use some different apps. So I thought I would share them with you guys. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any other apps that I should take a look at. The first app I use all the time is called SlidePad. SlidePad is basically an extra window within your open window, if that makes sense. If you slide your mouse to the right of the screen, this extra window will pop up, which you can use for whatever you want. You can open apps, documents, PDFs, websites and so on. It's just really helpful if you spend a lot of time on your computer. If you don't want to slide your mouse uh, to the right to bring it up, you also have the ability to make a shortcut. Personally, I think it works very well with the standard settings, but yeah, you can do whatever you like. If you don't know about this app already, I would definitely recommend you go check it out. It is uh, really good. Number two is called Paste. Um, it's actually very simple, but extremely useful. It basically saves all the things that you copy and save them within the app for a determined period of time, which you decide for yourself. So when you click at the icon at the menu bar or bring up, bring it up with a shortcut, you get all of your copied items, which you can sort into folders. I often find myself wanting to copy several items at a time, and for that I find this app very useful. It's also just really nice that you can storage all your copies for a long time. I won't say that I use old copied stuff all the time, but it, but it happens. And in those situations, Pace comes in really handy. App number three is called Zip. Zip is basically a color app where you can uh, collect, organize and edit colors. It got a lot of cool features, but to be completely honest, I almost only use it to find color codes, which is extremely easy. If you need to know the color code for a specific color on a website, in a video or something else, you can simply bring up zip with a shortcut and if you hold your mouse over the color you want to know something about, it will give you the specific color code. Then you can tap once and it will save it for you. I actually use it way more than I thought I would when I first installed it. Number four is called Amphetamine. Don't let the name scare you. If you use an external monitor, this app could really be useful for you. Amphetamine is basically an app that gives you the ability to keep working on your Mac even when you close the screen. If you want to do this, you can start a session on the menu bar, which can last for as long as you want it to. It works really well, and the best part of it all, it is totally free. Number five is called Background Music and is an app which allows you to, to control the volume individually between apps. So if I go to the menu bar and click on the icon, I can set different volume levels, which is really nice. It also automatically recognizes if two things are playing at the same time. For example, if I'm playing a song on Spotify and start playing a YouTube video, the app will automatically pause Spotify. number six is called image optim what it does is very simple and if you haven't guessed it already it just it optimizes and compromises your photos and for that job this app is the best i have come across you simply just drag your photo into the app and it will start working its magic when it's done you can see how much space you have saved on that specific image great app if you're working a lot with photos and stuff like that The last app is called Hidden Me. Again, a super simple idea, but very, very useful. If you're like me and not always got the most organized home screen, Hidden Me is the app for you. It allows you to hide all of your files and apps from the home screen. It's really nice if you need to share your screen to others for some reason or if you want to record something. With one click, it's all gone and you can simply bring it back when you're done. I need to mention that some of these apps I learned about from Andy Sly, uh, so thanks a lot for that. If you want to check his channel out, I'll link him down in the description. That is all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.